Imagine a powerful giant, like the sun, clashing with a tiny yet mighty opponent, a small black hole. The collision is imminent, and the fate of the solar system hangs in the balance. Will the sun be able to withstand the intense gravitational pull of a tiny black hole, or will it be swallowed whole? The answer lies in the forces at play in this mind-blowing cosmic collision. So let's break them down. First of all, what is a black hole? A black hole is a region of space where the gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. Like a cosmic vacuum cleaner, it sucks up anything that gets too close. It's so massive that it warps the fabric of space-time around it. Black holes are one of the most scary and mysterious objects in the universe, a powerful force of nature that defies our understanding of physics, a true enigma of the universe. Black holes come in different sizes, from small ones that are only a few miles wide to supermassive ones that are billions of times the mass of the sun. Most of them are formed by the collapse of massive stars. After the black hole is born, it starts to grow in size by eating everything in its path. And if two or more black holes collide with each other, they can merge into one enormous cosmic monster in a terrifying dance. But what about the smaller ones? The smallest known black holes are called stellar black holes. It's a type of black hole that weighs three to 10 masses of our sun while being very small. It's like taking all the matter in the solar system and squeezing it into something the size of New York City. And yes, it's considered very small. Just for comparison, intermediate mass black holes weigh between 100 to 1,000 solar masses, and supermassive black holes weigh millions or billions of solar masses while being unimaginably huge in size. So stellar black holes are basically nothing compared to their relatives. Imagine a massive star, bigger than our own sun and with a heart made of nuclear fuel, burning bright and hot. But as the star runs out of fuel, gravity takes over and starts to squeeze the star. The more it squeezes, the hotter it gets, until the star's core reaches a temperature of billions of degrees. Eventually, the core collapses under its own gravity. This creates a massive blast called a supernova. This collapse creates a singularity, which means a point of infinite density and gravity. This point is surrounded by an event horizon, the invisible line beyond which nothing, including light, can escape. And just like that, voila, a stellar black hole is born. Pretty mind-blowing, isn't it? Stellar black holes are the most common type of black holes we know of. These guys can be found all across our galaxy. So, what are the chances that such a little monster will come for our sun? And in that case, what will happen to us? Well, actually, the likelihood of the sun colliding with any black hole is incredibly small. It's almost impossible for it to happen. Even though stellar black holes are the most common type of black holes in our universe, they aren't common at all. The chances of the sun and some black hole crossing paths is so rare, it's basically like winning the intergalactic lottery. Only this win wouldn't be that pleasant. For 2023, the closest known black hole in our solar system is Gaia BH1. It's about 10 times heavier than our sun, and even this one is about 1,600 light years away from us, which is a quadrillion miles. So it's safe to say that our sun is not going anywhere anytime soon. But never say never, right? Just like with any astronomical event, we need to understand the different ways something like this could happen. For example, it would be possible if a rogue black hole passed through our solar system, much like a comet or asteroid passing by. Unfortunately, unlike comets and asteroids, black holes are invisible and can only be detected by their gravitational pull. So it's not like we'd see a big, ominous black hole hurtling towards us Rather, we'd only know it was there if it caused some sort of disturbance in the orbits of nearby objects. So what now? We know that the Sun is a massive, luminous star at the center of our solar system. It's about 4.5 billion years old and has enough fuel to last for another 5 billion years. This star is so big that it's hard to even comprehend its size. In fact, if you were to put all the planets in our solar system inside of it, there would still be room for more. And it's so massive that it contains almost 100% of the total mass of the solar system. 
So it's hard to imagine how some insignificant small black hole thousands of times smaller than this star can devour it. And you're right, it won't. Well, at least not completely. So imagine if a rogue black hole arrived in our solar system and has begun to approach the sun. As it gets closer and closer, the black hole's immense gravity will start to pull the material from the surface of the sun. The sun would start to get stretched and distorted. This is called spaghettification. Imagine a rubber band being stretched until it snaps. That's kind of what would happen to it. This gathered material will form a swirling disk around the black hole, called an accretion disk. As more and more material is pulled in, the disk will heat up and start emitting intense radiation. And as the sun gets pulled in, it would start to release massive amounts of energy in the form of light and heat. The sun would become much brighter and hotter than before. The sun's outer layers would be vaporized, creating a massive cloud of gas and dust that would expand outwards. It would be like a cosmic fireworks show, but with terrible consequences. Even though it would be one of the most spectacular views in the universe, we wouldn't be able to see it. As you might have guessed, the Earth would be in for a really rough time. The intense radiation and solar material would cause massive wildfires, and the intense heat would vaporize the oceans. The Earth would be bathed in a constant stream of high-energy particles, and the atmosphere would be ionized. In short, the chances of any life surviving would be close to zero. And this collision would have far-reaching consequences not only for the Earth, but for the entire solar system. The intense radiation and heat would vaporize everything in its path. All the planets would be destroyed. Now, the sun being a larger object than a typical star wouldn't be completely devoured by the black hole, but it would be significantly distorted and disrupted. The intense gravity of the black hole would cause the sun's outer layers to be pulled away, creating a massive blast called a tidal disruption event. But either way, in the end, the black hole would win. It would grow in size, and a new accretion disk would form around it. As we've seen, the collision of the sun with a black hole, whether it be a tiny or stellar one, would be an epic and catastrophic event. But thankfully, as we've already mentioned, the likelihood of such a collision happening is extremely low. However, that doesn't mean we should stop studying black holes and their potential impact on the universe. The more we learn about these mysterious objects, the better equipped we'll be to understand and predict their behavior. So let's keep researching, exploring, and observing the depths of space. And who knows, maybe one day we'll come across a black hole that's just too curious and gets too close to the sun. Let's hope by that time, we will already be living on other distant planets. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.